Hi everybody, thanks for joining me for this daily Life Lifter. We are looking at weariness. And yesterday I talked about the whole general principle for how to restore strength and vigor in your life when you're weary, and that's to set boundaries. We looked at Proverbs 23.10. Now today I want to talk about the first way to get wisdom to set boundaries, and that's this, to make sure that you find God time. Find some God time in your life. You know, uh, we're going to look at Mark chapter 6, verses 30 to 31. Jesus had sent out the 12 uh, disciples at the time. Of course, they were disciples until the resurrection, and they were apostles. What's a disciple? A student, pupil, or learner. What's an apostle? A sent out one. So while Jesus was alive, they were disciples, students, pupils, and learners. And when he rose and ascended back to heaven, they were apostles sent out to share the good news of Jesus. Well, when he sent out the 12 as uh, disciples, they did a little, was, Jesus was doing some advanced training for what would happen in the future when he resurrected and ascended. They went out and they proclaimed the gospel in villages and different places. And they came back fired up and excited uh, because of all that God did. God gave them special power to present the good news. And they were talking about all that God did through them. But they were tired. And that's where Mark 6, 30 to 31 comes in. Look at what it says. The apostles gathered around Jesus and reported to him all they had done and taught. Then, because so many people were coming and going that they did not even have a chance to eat, he said to them, come with me by yourselves to a quiet place and get some rest. You see how the boundaries weren't set? I mean, you do the Lord's work, and not that the boundaries weren't set, but it's exhausting, and Jesus knew there was a time for rest. Then it says, on top of it, people were crowding them, asking them for stuff. And that's how it feels in ministry, to be honest with you. Sometimes I feel like people just crowd and ask me for stuff, and I don't, I don't blame people for that. It's just the way it is. And Jesus, remedy, find some God time. He says four things. Come with me by yourself for a quiet time to get some rest. To a quiet place and get some rest, technically. Come with me. The first thing when it comes to your quiet time, find some time where you can be with Jesus. Second, by yourself. There's times to be in church and learn with other people. There are times to be in small groups and learn with other people and share back and forth. Time to be at midweek Bible study, which will be kicking off in October. We're going to be doing the book of Hebrews, the superiority of Jesus Christ. Yes, that was a commercial. And there's a place for that, but there must also be a place where you are by yourself. And then third, you must be at a quiet place. Why a quiet place? So you can hear from God, so you can be refreshed, so you can be away from the busyness of life like the disciples had been, so you can be away from people like the disciples were experiencing. To a quiet place. That's why we call Bible reading and prayer, that time, we call it quiet time. You quiet yourself before God. And for what? To get some rest. What does a weary person need? This kind of rest. Not physical rest, not a good night's sleep, not a week's rest or a vacation. Those are very, very helpful. Don't get me wrong. But there comes a point where you need soul rest. Jesus says, come with me by yourself to a quiet place and get some soul rest. If you get soul rest, you'll overcome weariness. Are you weary? How's your quiet time with God? Have you come with him by yourselves to a quiet place to get some rest? When's the last time you read the Bible for yourself? Do you have a Bible reading plan, a daily Bible reading plan? Dusty Bibles lead to dirty lives, and a Bible that's falling apart is usually owned by someone who is not. So I encourage you to find a Bible reading plan. You go to our website and find one, or you can email us, info at lakeshorechurch.org. We'll get you a Bible reading plan. If you are weary, make sure you find some God time in your life. And one thing I would suggest before I close in prayer is this. The earlier in the day you do it, the more likely it is to happen. Let's pray. Father, forgive me because I feel at times like a hypocrite uh, for telling people to have a daily everyday quiet time with you and I don't always have a quiet time with you. I have time with you and it isn't always quiet and it isn't always uh, the amount of time I want. Forgive me. Nonetheless, for all of us, when we are weary, help use it as a reminder that we need more time with you. We need thee every hour, as the great hymn says. 
And Father, for anybody who is weary, help them to find uh, rest for their soul weariness from you in these quiet times because we'll meet with you. You're a loving God, a caring person, Savior of the world. Thank you for this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks, and get some soul rest. Get some time with God. Thanks.